Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn how to create a docker file. So first of all, what is a docker file? Before trying to create a docker file, what we are going to study first is what is a docker file? Why do we need it? Right? So basically docker file is nothing but a blueprint or we can say a template that contains all the commands a user could call on the command line to assemble an image okay so basically whenever we convert an application or we dockerize an application then in that case we require a docker file okay so within them we mention the instructions that can help us create a docker image okay so basically what we do is we copy the contents of our application into the docker image right so it can be artifacts or any of the jar files or whatever the application is right so basically we create a docker file and with the help of docker file we create a docker image and this docker image can be stored in any of the private or public repositories. So this is all about what is a docker file. Now let's go and learn how to create a docker file. So you can see that this is my EC2 instance wherein I have cloned this particular repository that contains a Node.js application. Okay, so now I will be dockerizing this particular Node.js application. Okay, for your reference, I'll be giving the link of this particular repo. Okay, so let's start building our Docker file. So I'll just make use of VI for creating a Docker file. Okay. So now in this case, I will be inserting and remember that whenever you are writing a docker file, it should always start with a from command. Okay, so I'll be mentioning from over here. Since we are dealing with a Node.js application, I will be making use of node over here and within the node we have got different images of node itself regarding the different versions and the types that we work with right so in this case i'll be making use of node 14 you can use latest also that will be perfectly fine for that yeah so from is used to consider a base image okay so in this case we'll be considering node as our base image since we are working with node.js application understood i hope that is clear by till now okay so now we are done with using a base image right so the next step that we want to do is we want to create or consider a directory within which we can copy the contents of our application right so how we will do that we'll first run a command so basically run is used to execute a command okay it will be similar to that of uh, which we make use in our linux commands right so it is similar to that okay so run i will be creating a folder named app okay so in this case i'll be creating a directory named app okay now what i want to do is i want to consider this working directory like in linux commands also it is a different there is a difference right we first create that particular directory with the help of mkdir right and then after that what we do is we change the directory with the help of cd command and enter that particular directory so in this case i'll be making use of work dir to 
change my directory to app okay so my working directory is app now okay now after this what i'll be doing is i will be copying the particular package.json file into my this particular folder or directory of app okay so what i'll do is i'll just mention it to be copy package and i'll be making use of star over here to indicate any of the package that is it can be package hyphen lock or simply a package dot json right so both the files should be copied into this particular directory okay so i hope it is clear by now so what we did is we first considered a base image then within that base image we created a separate directory named app then we considered it to be as a working directory and then after that we copied the file that is package.json or package-log.json into our this working directory okay now after this if you have worked with node.js applications you must have noticed that we make use of npm install while in the starting phase of our application right so i will be executing this particular command of npm install now what i'll do is i'll it will be creating few things with the help of npm install right the which include node modules and other stuff right so these files i want to copy them into my working directory okay with the help of this particular command that is copy so basically i would like to tell you that we have one more additional command or the instruction of add okay so there is a difference between copy as well as add which we'll learn at the end of this lecture i would like to make it more interesting so that uh, you understand it in a better way right so since i am so first of all before exposing i'll try to go over here and within the server.js we can see that the port that they have used is of 8080 so our application will be running on this particular port right so for that i'll be exposing it at that particular port of 8080 okay then after that what i'll do is i'll be running this particular command cmd which will act as a starting command of our docker image right so we'll be running node server since my, the file name is server.js i will be making use of that okay so now i'll just say escape i'll be saving this file okay so now we are done with the creation of our docker file now after this what i'll do is i'll be creating or building an image with the help of this particular docker file so what i'll do is but before that before that i will need to install a docker over here okay so i'll go and search for how to install docker on amazon linux 2 okay so i'll be going to this particular link and we'll just follow these commands right here so first of all what i'll do is i'll be updating the stuff right here okay then after that what i'll be doing is i'll be directly installing docker After this, 
what i'll be doing is i'll be just creating a group you just have to follow this process okay then after this i'll be enabling docker dot service after enabling i'll be starting this particular docker service okay after that we'll check the status so now you can see that it is active and running so now we are ready to work and create a docker image of it right so we have got docker file right here now we'll be just building the image that is docker build the name of the image that i want to give right so it will be written after t so my web app and since the docker file is in the same repository or sorry not the repository but the directory okay so since docker file is in the same directory what i'll do is i'll make use of dot right here okay now in this way okay there is one more problem right here okay so there is a permission denied stuff right here with this particular file so what i'll do is i'll first try to give the permissions sudo chmod var run docker dot sock okay so this error comes mostly because of the permission denied stuff okay so now what you can do is you can build it with the help of this particular command so now let's you can see that it is first creating a base that is it is pulling that particular image of node from the docker hub okay so remember that it works in layers right so it's working on just the first layer of eight layers so there are total eight layers so it is working in that way and now you can see that it has created a docker image okay so it has considered all the things one by one and created so here we have got some sort of error but it is nothing to do with our docker image so in this way our docker image got created okay so hope you found the video helpful and in this way we can create a docker file and of our node.js application and we can create different uh, versions of it or we can create different docker files for different applications like python java etc so here i've just make made use of node.js right here right so please let me know if you want me to create docker files or any other videos which will be helpful to you okay so that's it for this hope you found the video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel if you found the videos helpful also don't forget to press that bell icon for the latest updates thank you so much have a nice day